Welcome back to the shop and today I am going to be talking to you about control override servo savers. This is a tiny, tiny piece from Dubro that really can save your servos and save you quite a bit of grief if you happen to be setting up some retracts. Let me show you what I mean. The thing that this device is really meant for is taking the shock out of nose gear or tail gear where you have a situation where the servo is connected to both the rudder and a steering push rod, be it a nose gear or a tail gear. In this particular model that I'm building, it's going to be a tail gear. But say the landing gear strikes a bump or a divot or a rut or something in the runway and it turns a little bit. So it takes the strain off of the servo. I've had situations where rather than putting in a super, super strong servo, it was just that I needed one of these devices because I kept on having failing rudder slash steering servos. And all it needed was this simple device. So to demonstrate what this movement translates to on the steering part, it's just this. You know, when you have a side load, and that's what's causing the, the tension on the servo. So the assembly of the servo saver is really quite straightforward. You essentially have a clevis point here that has a hole that your push rod goes through and your push rod is going to have these other two clevis points and you're going to use these screws in here to tighten them up against the rod. Now, depending on your application, you can use both sets of springs on each side or just one set on each side. In my particular application, I need to use these, use both springs. And you'll see in a minute here how this is demonstrated, but it's really quite simple to install one thing after another. Just stack it on here. It's like toppings on a pizza. And once it goes together, you can cut off the one end just mark it and cut it off that way it keeps it as short as possible so that any additional hardware inside your servo bay is not going to be poked into or cause any other binding issues all right guys so i've got this model on the bench it's a good demonstration of what we're talking about with this servo saver and i've got my servo tester here that can cycle through the full range of the servo so really what we're looking at here is this particular movement where you see it binds up. And that's just because of the, the geometry of the retract. So let me extend the retract up and you can see what this motion looks like. All right, so as you can see with the retract extended, now we have full range of movement and we're able to see that the servo or steering is working just fine. On this end of the model, you can see where we've got the servo working wonderfully to control the steering back and forth, but because of some extreme at the end, it's pressing a little bit on the springs, and this is good. Let me go ahead and turn this off. I'll make the landing gear extend down and then show you what this does with that binding situation. All right, so as it comes up, you see what this spring compresses. And so that saves the servo from binding and in flight, this same servo can control the rudder as well once I build out the model entirely. So that's a great application for this particular tool and it works extremely, extremely well. So if you have a need for one of these, I highly suggest that you head on over to dubro.com and pick one up. It has saved me several times in my modeling life that it just, it's just a convenient thing and it's nice to have one on hand for when you need it. You don't really know you need it until you say, ah, this is the thing that I need. So I hope that that helps some people. And if you need to share this with other people, be sure to link this to them. And until next time, thanks for stopping by the shop.